Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to the Select Board Board of Health meeting on Wednesday, April 11th, 2018 at 6 o'clock here in the town offices in South Deerfield. Um, we'll start the meeting off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, select board comments. Kip, did you have it? You wanted to go over the um, frontier thing? The frontier thing? thing. Yeah, I just uh, had Wendy uh, make copies of uh, the proposed, uh, I guess you call it a payment plan or funding options that was prepared uh, for the capital needs at Frontier Regional High School. And I just wanted you guys to have this to look over. Uh, the committee there has not discussed um, this, um, this breakdown yet. Uh, we briefly went over different ideas and uh, Joe Markarian uh, has prepared this for us, but tomorrow evening we're gonna discuss it in more detail. Um, but I've, I was disappointed that we haven't spent more time talking about the individual projects and, and their actual cost instead of just this is what it, it is and you know this is how we should pay for it. Um, it Do you have any idea um, what we should be doing um, to encourage that? Um, um, at this point, I don't know. I, I've, I've, I've spoken um, to a couple of the other members that I've run into about this and uh, I'm gonna try to steer the conversation more about um, having each item addressed and look at it and having whoever gave them the prices to, to meet with us to discuss it. Um, because I, I do believe that the total amount is still well over $3 million and they broke it down into you know, what needs to get done more quickly. And that's where it broke down to you know, certain things we're gonna get done um, this coming year, other things we're gonna get done in the second year and then the rest in the third year. My, my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, when we left that meeting, that the next step was this committee was to prioritize what was get done and then to analyze each of the projects that were in the list right. and try to focus in on how um, they could be done in a manner that was appropriate because, I mean, when we were sitting there, the roof was leaking from condensation. Right. and. You had talked about, you know, putting up some insulation and stuff, and that in general the roof was in really good shape. And so this, none of this even includes that, Carolyn. Really? Yes. And uh. and what happened is that uh, your assessment is correct, uh, but uh, before the last meeting, I got an email, and I don't know if it was uh, just Bob Lesko or uh, Darius or a combination of the two, but they came up with the priority list, not the committee. Uh, you know, there was some discussion, uh, and there was a meeting that I did miss, so I don't know what went on there, but I read the minutes, and it didn't seem like there was a whole lot of discussion about it. But anyways, there was a, a, a needs assessment um, or priority list discussed, and uh, we got that. But at the last meeting I went to uh, a few weeks back, um, th th that was not addressed. All that we heard about was how to pay for it. So... Well, I guess I'm pretty disappointed too. I mean, we need to we need to have more interaction. I thought that well, was the point of the committee. So yes, and and maybe, so maybe um, maybe we can have the finance committees and the select boards um, re revisit this I, somehow. There is a select board member from all all four towns on this board. Who, um, who, so who is it from Sunderland and Waitley? Um, from Conway is uh, Robert Baker, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and from Waitley is, uh, I can't think of his name. Not John. No, it wasn't John. Fred Orlowski. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred, Fred Orlowski. Yeah. Yep. And from Sunderland, it was? Bergeron. Uh, Scott. 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 Bergeron. Okay. Thank you. Well, Scott's really practical, and, so, and Fred is well, too. Can, can I say something? Mm -hmm. um, Joe's specialty is financial. Right. And maybe it feels a cart before the horse or whichever way it goes. Um, mm -hmm. But that's what he does specifically. And I know that they had, um, was it through Sunderland perhaps, I'm not sure, DLTA money through FERCOG to have him provide these services at no right. cost. So okay. uh, 
Maybe, maybe uh, it, that's it, it appears like it is because that's what he yeah. does. But you know, I, I think it's maybe right it's to sort more. that out. But, oh, but okay. I, so maybe there is still more work to be oh, done. Yeah. On right. And I, I'm sure that, that there's going to be more discussion okay. about you know the, the, the this, priority yeah, and the actual like cost. Doesn't what its cost is going to be, and this how you do it. So it's yeah. well. Yeah. That's they have to get the message out better. <laughs> okay. I, but I just wanted you guys to see this as to be okay. a little bit aware of what was coming down. All right. Okay. Well, I think we definitely need to follow up on it. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I can. I like I said, there's another meeting tomorrow night. Okay. And um, let us you know, know how it we'll, goes. We've been meeting, I think, just about every two or three weeks apart, trying to kind of get a little bit better handle on this. Well, maybe mm -hmm. Wendy's right. Maybe it was just figuring out this is the kind of impact it's going to have. Right. Oh yes. And then, then if you work on the projects. To get those a little you more could affordable, maybe stretch them out a little bit more, or change the order a little bit, and right. and work down the prices a little bit. So, right. that these numbers. Right. Well, I mean, that's I understand I mean, if the numbers are like in half. For for each town, yeah. there are different options. You know, the five-year notes, seven-year notes, ten-year notes, showing the, the variable interest rates and, and what the payments would be like and stuff like that. Yeah. But Well, the only thing I could think of um, offhand is if, if, if we sold, if both parcels sell in the um, Oxford Pickle and we, and we pay off the notes for Oxford Pickle, mm -hmm. that frees up $130,000 on our operating budget. Mm -hmm. But that's, doesn't, that's almost right, double. Double what it is. Yeah. My, it my is. concern, I, 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 mean, I just don't know how we can do it, truthfully. We're not there yet, but the concern was that it wasn't, this was not all of the improvements. This was just a third of the improvement, about a third of the improvements that were deemed to be the most necessary right away. But the very following year, the exact same thing would come out, a dollar amount, or very similar. And then the third year, the same thing. And that's where it really starts to snowball. And I said, geez, this is just um, a lot of money. And th this is, has nothing to do with our own projects that we have coming down. So. Are there school committee members on this working committee? There are. Who are who was the Deerfield representatives? Uh, Bob Decker. Okay. So okay. I know Bob had some questions, so maybe yeah. we can work on that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um on not very much of a happier note, but <laughs> at least <laughs> you can do something. <laughs> um a meeting I went to last week. Um New Hampshire came out with um, the best management practices um, for j uh, Japanese knotweed. And it, we put it on, I had Pat put it on our website. So um, this is a time of year that you want to start working on it. Yep. And um, it gives you all kinds of um, visuals and how-tos. And it actually is a, you know, if you're into Japanese knotweed or trying to eradicate it, this is actually a good little pamphlet. Can I so, say real quick? Yeah. Um, it explains the root systems and what you have to do. And, oh, very um, basic, right? Yeah, it's very basic. But it, it is a good um, how-to, and, and I think it was pretty well written. Right. So anyway, it's on our website. You can have it if well, you want. Well, I, I just wasn't really sure what it was, but now that I see it, I know exactly what it is. Yeah, well, it covers, it's yeah, up, up, and down, everything, <laughs> up and down a river. Yeah. Um, so that was all I had, and really. the railroad tracks. And around the railroad tracks, everywhere. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. It's pretty nasty. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, invasive. Right. Um, so the we'll, next thing we have is um, minutes for um, <clears throat> February 15th. I'll take a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of February 15th. Second. Is there any further discussion? None. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, administrator's report. Wendy. Um, some of the things I have here I think I'd rather talk about when we get to the okay. warrant and take that as a... Mm -hmm. as a way of ex explaining some things on the warrant. Okay, so um, then... But first, I, I do want to say that the uh, New England Natural Bakers closing is tomorrow. Great. Oh, great. And uh, with the other, with Dumont, um, they have to do a 21E bank required, and they, uh, the company that's doing that said they don't think... The, they think they won't be doing it until the 23rd of May. 
the 21E itself. Huh. And oh. then we need to prepare, and I'll work with council on this, um, you are the permitting authority for that, right. so to figure out, you know, step A through mm -hmm. hopefully only D, it's not too many. Right. Um, and coming up um, in a few weeks, we'll get another another permit um, for a site assignment for a piggery, um, uh, another one. <laughs> yeah. So that that is coming up. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay. Things, and then um, when we get to the end of the meeting, talk about your meeting schedule. Okay. And okay. some items because I'm we're sort of keeping future agendas going to see what's getting scheduled. All right. Um, so. I guess then uh, the next we'll go down to our decision items mm. um, because we have a few minutes before the um, our liquor license hearing. Um, oh. Do you want me to nominate? Oh yes. Go ahead. I'm going to nom. Uh, I would make a motion to nominate Greg Lewis to represent Deerfield on the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District Commission. I'll I'll second that. Um, I I just want to say clear it up a little bit. I'm, my application already went in and I was um, nominated by Conway. And the reason why we had all that mess up was because I felt I could ask Conway to nominate me, whereas yeah. it was it seemed a little awkward to ask Conway to nominate Greg. Yeah. So, well, I'm just um, grateful Greg would, I mean, he's I know. just an immense I mean, he's amount doing of work it. and he's done a great job. He's doing it for, you know, as a volunteer as well. Yeah. So it's very nice that he wants to do that. He's, um, generated quite a lot of interest in Hampshire County by going to the Hampshire um, um, Public Health Coalition last night and did Great. a presentation. Great. So things seem to be moving along and then we got wonderful news that the $150,000 startup grant could be that we um, got or Wendy got for us to get. Mm -hmm. um, we can transfer it to the trust fund for our startup, startup costs um, so we can pay DPH to do the surveillance and stuff like that. So Perfect. that, I mean, uh, testing um, the, what we trap. So that's really good. Great. So um, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We'll have that letter. Do you want that letter? Yes. We should sign it so we, maybe we can fax it to Greg so we can get his application in tomorrow. There's only, we have, do you have it there? We have five. Five, hopefully five okay. applicants. Charlie Konecki's one, one. Anywhere here it is. Charlie Konecki's one, and I put blue pens there for all of you. Oh, okay. Actually, it was in order. <laughs> oh, it's new. It's a little oh, rubber. Gosh, yeah, oh, new. yeah. I took them right out of the box. <laughs> I like those little things. <laughs> Pull them off. <up. laughs> Something satisfying about that. You can leave it off, <laughs> and then push the thing there. I hope you want to put it on and take it off. <laughs> anyway, thank you for doing that so that he can get his application in and we can get rolling. Great. To uh, so make, do we have, I don't know if I've seen that, but I, I would make a motion to approve a um, special one day liquor license for Yankee Candle Village for the uh, St. Jude's on May 6, 2018. I'll second the motion. Yeah. Um, is there any further it. discussion? No. Hearing none, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Did you say my five, five, sixth, and seventh, like it says in the annotated agenda? Oh. Remember the three day thing that keeps That's our right. Attention? I'm sorry. Oh, so I'm, I moved oh. to I moved to approve the issuing of a one day liquor license for Yankee Candle Village for May fifth, sixth, and seventh. So I set up two thousand eighteen. It's, it's, a it's still a, a one day, but right. it's a setup and takedown. Thank so, you, Wendy. Uh, uh, second, welcome. all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Who, do we all sign this? Yes, you have, we all have to sign. Um, now we're going to talk about adding a quota to the liquor licenses. Okay. Um, so this has to do with the um, warrant article relative to requesting additional licenses on-premise licenses. Um, we have, we'll have none left. Uh, we have more competing for the on-premise, I mean off-premise wine and beer and malt, wine and malt. And um, I've talked with council and this will allow you, if the, if the town meeting votes to 
authorize you to submit the legislation to ask for additional licenses. It simply authorizes you, doesn't require you to do so. But in the event of the course of the year, if you would like to do that, you have the option to move that forward. You, we can also amend that after town meeting votes. We can actually even amend it at town meeting floor. I have the numbers in three and three for the two that we're over and bumping up against. Um, you, we can change those after. We can either vote town meeting or you can decide to change those later. But all I'm saying is you have the time to do it. This just allows you to be able to do it. You know, you need the town meeting approval in order to even move on anything. So right. does that make sense? Yeah. I'm uh, uh, happy to make I, it clearer I think it's if you like. I think at town meeting, though, we have to make it clear that we actually haven't made a decision, but this allows us to have further discussion and then make a decision later on. Um, I mean, we right. have to make that really clear. Yeah. Just you could have hearings. You could invite public, you know, yeah. however you'd like to handle it to gather community input. But we definitely like the community input. I was curious, um, just were we asking for a number amount during yeah, that? Uh, I three put three, three right? and three in there just right. to, just and to um, you can adjust up it one way to the right. last minute, you know. You can either ch change it there or we could change it, you know, subsequent to town meeting. If you, if you get a sense from people, we don't like that number or whatever, and you want to say, okay, we'll amend it right now in the motion, right. or you can say, we, we will do that, you know, or we'll take that under advisement as we consider whether to file this and how many, because that can be amended by you. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. it makes sense. Do you know if we decided to do this, how long does that process take? Well, it takes time to get through the legislature, so. Um, so it's not going to happen in a couple of months? No. No. Okay. No. Not well, the likely. reason I ask is if we decided not to do anything until maybe we had an application, it seems like it, that could take quite a while to do it. That I right. thought we already have th yeah. three we, applications. For we, two. we have one over right. the limit in the numbers right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. We have three and we have only two. Or we have whatever. Right. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Three yeah. And two permits. Two, yeah. Three well, pending. um... And, and right now, as it stands, by the way, some clarity on this, because the linked issue is the marijuana. Right. If that were to pass, if the zoning were to pass at town meeting, um, we can, you, you have that 20% of, you know, Correct. relationship to the number of, of liquor licenses. Um, I think they're off, uh, yeah, also off premise, the seven that we have collectively between wine and malt and all alcohol. And um, that, in fact, would be two, not one. Well, Apparently, you I'm, read, I, we, I had 1.4, which I rounded down, and Lisa informs me the regulations say you round up. <laughs> so that means we have to allow two. Well, right. we have to consider two, let's put it that way, because they need permit and you need to work out a host agreement, so. And then, the, but the space to retail is not very large, right? I mean, so no. I'm thinking of, Somebody coming in as a So we're not forced to have more no, than one. You're not forced to. I mean, right. they ha there are various hoops they have to go through. Sure. So, yeah. right. And then a business decision on their part, do yeah. they want to open up right And if, you know, if it became or, problematic, you can vote, you can have a ballot vote to reduce that. True. So then if you do raise the number of liquor licenses, again, this is in the future. This is so many what if, if this, if that, mm -hmm. if that. Um, it would proportionally change that as well, but that's, you know, in the future. It's, you can take it, you can reason through these things at each step, so. Well, I mean, I personally feel that we shouldn't hold off on issuing our last two, mm -hmm. because that's not fair for people to have to wait. When we have no, two. I think, and I was explaining to, I'm sorry, I forget his name, Mr. Newton. Mm -hmm. Mr. Newton. Yes, that, you know, what, what we were going to do was hear from each of the applicants and then um, come up with criteria for making your decision mm -hmm. at a, you know, a few weeks from now after you've heard from all of them. Yeah. Okay. But one will have to wait if, if that's the case because we don't have enough. Right. Now, Correct. now we don't have enough. Or, or even for a while, even if it passed the town meeting, it's still going to be a while for legislation. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you have any other questions on that? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I'm not I really. No, I'm good. I'm I not really. I understand a, it. A, 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 
opposed to doing it. I just kind of, you know, my, my thought is, do we have enough already? I don't, the other thought is I don't want to hinder a business as yeah, well. Yeah, well, so. that was, I don't, I want, I don't want to wait for, I mean, we have two, so. Yeah. We need to figure out criteria so we can issue those two out at least. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we have to decide, I mean, if they're already, my understanding is if, it, if you have 1.4, I don't know how they can force us to have two. If the calculation gives you 1.4. I mean, I, I said asked today. It. That's what uh, you read in the regulations. You round up. We, for, I asked the commission. But you're not that? forced. Yeah, but again, you're not forced. You've got to right. work through with a special permit granting procedure, and maybe that's what the yeah. commissioner. Because we went to that meeting where that we talk, talked to the cannabis commissioner, cannabis, cannabis commissioner, commission commissioner, and she said that no, oh no. You can. You will only have to have one. Right. Again, they're they're interpreting it and coming out with the regs as we speak. That's so right. I'm we'll trying to, to stay up on it. I'll follow. Okay. Yeah. I'm also looking for um, criteria to evaluate in terms of a host agreement. Okay. Um, good. And I'll okay. I'll be working on that for you. Okay. Thank you. Again, if it passes town meeting. Right. If it doesn't. Oh, I don't know what we do. <laughs> we don't have to do anything. Not to They'll do, anything. do it to us. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even want to think of it. Okay. Um, all right. Electronic uh, voting. Oh, Kip, do you want to just, um, or do you well, want to just, just give us an update on what Dan wrote? Oh, oh. Do you mind? I'd rather wait until after we do the hearing. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. But I have to Sign show you, time. we'll only take a couple of minutes. But I don't know how long this thing will run, so I'm going to, and it's very slow. So when no I problem. Think, anticipate it, I'll turn it on, okay. get it. Okay. All right. And, uh, that sounds good. You, is that, do That's the one day if you want to sign that. Does she usually stamp those or you sign that? Oh, you already did? We already signed it. We already oh, signed it. Sorry. Okay. Um, Where was I? Thank you. Well, we could do the, um, we got a five more minutes. We yeah. could run down to the FERCOG MOU if you wanted to. Um, okay. okay. Um, this is actually, a memorandum of understanding for them performing work that will be paid for by the state, so we're not actually obligated to pay any money. Right. Um, this is to help us to apply for a meta grant, which I've mentioned a couple times. Yep. Um, uh, this is a grant that could possibly pay for. I have two ideas in mind: either helping with um, putting together the RP and the rest of the process for solar at the landfill or um, um, un, you know, fixing our situation at the small treatment plant with the, the installation there and getting that right. straightened out. So, so does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I would, um, if, if they're going to be involved with that, I would really advocate to getting some a private company to come do the landfill instead of what we did at the uh, wastewater treatment plant. It was a private company. Well, I meant leasing the thing instead of financially getting involved with. Oh, you know. okay. This this is just to get a grant money to study it. Study it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. to find it. You got to study it. Someone to, well, not to study what to do, but to actually have someone come in and figure out and fix it. Um, well, one of the but, issues. But again, um, if we apply for that, we'll discuss how you want to yeah. spend it. So. Yep. One of the things but, that we yeah. need to think about, and, and I, I talked with Kevin real briefly about this, is that. At the landfill, there's some sort of a, a membrane on top of it. They call it a cap. And um, DEP watches these things pretty carefully to the point that we can't even drive over it with a tractor that's so heavy. And a lot of these uh, solar arrays, they just pound stakes into the ground, so it, it's going to yeah. penetrate this thing all over the place. Right, so right. That's one of the things I didn't want us to get involved with. You know, right. I wanted to make sure that... You know, if there's an outside person and they do something wrong, let them be responsible. I, I forget what they did yeah. in Greenfield, but they did something to to make sure that that didn't happen. Hmm. Okay. And, um, I, but our problem for our landfill was when we went through we went through this whole process, but the hookup fees from um, it was Western Mass at the time yeah. was tens of thousands of dollars. So it like negated Anybody. the right. whole benefit of the of having them there, and so. Um, and then, you know, you just keep hearing how hard it is to get um, hooked, up. hooked up. 
So I'm, I'm afraid for us to commit any money and right. any energy, our energy, staff time, whatever, we would, until yeah. we know that this we can actually hook this up. Right. And so that was the idea well, of having this grant. Is the River yeah. Road one connected yet? Or they still have issues? Be because I... They're getting closer. We're getting every day there. Did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do this? But and see, that's an example. Yeah. I mean, we I are, know. we're not even in it. Yeah. yeah. Well... I mean, it's been almost... They year. are going to credit us back to December for electric bills, but, um, you know... Right. But... Well, I, I've, I've heard, uh, watching these shows, that the power company themselves is upset with the way that the laws were written, and it's forcing them to buy the electricity, even though I think it's a great idea. They can buy it on the open market for less money. So I think that they've taken advantage of every loophole that they can Slow to make time. it more difficult and mm -hmm. stuff like that and cost people... They, uh, I don't want to use the word farm. They charge permit fees and different applications. Yeah. All of this to generate money, it just slows down the process. You know. So, it is. Um, so can so somebody make I a make, motion? Um, I move to authorize the chair to sign the memorandum of agreement with Franklin County, uh, Franklin Regional Council of Governments for technical assistance in preparing energy grants. I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion? No. Nope. None. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you, everyone. And it is almost 6.30, so. Great. Can you just pass that? I sure can. Um, Thank you. Well, um, do you want to? We have to wait one more minute. minute. Yeah, we'll wait a minute. Yeah. I guess I'm we gonna, could read it. I'm gonna, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to grab a glass of water. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to do this in one minute. <laughs> Um, was this just left over from last week? Could be. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if everybody had a copy of it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. 6.30 on the notice. Okay. Um, being 6.30, I'm going to read the notice of public hearing. Notice is hereby given in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 138, that the Deerfield Select Board, acting as a local licensing authority, has received an application for new annual wine and malt beverages off-premises liquor license from Deerfield's International Market, located at 265 Greenfield Road, Unit 3 in South Deerfield, Mass. In accordance with the aforementioned provisions, the licensing authority of the said town of Deerfield will hold a public hearing in the main meeting room of the Municipal Office Building at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass, on Wednesday, April 11, 2018, at 6.30 p.m. Um, you all could come up and give us your story. Yes, yep. please. Come. Um, you have to introduce yourself. Um, so for our uh, people that are watching. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. My name is uh, Sonam. Uh, Sonam Lama. Uh, I lived uh, in uh, South Deerfield since 2005 at uh, the Tibetan Plaza near the uh, Hillside Pizza Places. Mm -hmm. This is Tenzin, uh, my wife. Uh, we lived together uh, uh, over six years, but recently we got married. Congratulations. And, uh, That's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, now, what we, <clears throat> because I do uh, stonework, uh, and uh, it's kind of a, um, I wanted my wife to do something at uh, her own life, would be her own independent in business. So we decided to open a, um, a supermarket. It's a mini supermarket. Mm -hmm. It's carry uh, European food, uh, a variety of European, including Russian, and a variety of uh, Asian food. Uh, uh, including Chinese, and that's all. Basically, is a mini 
international supermarket. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> to do that, we like to include a lot of other things, in, uh, things like uh, uh, wine and uh, uh, beer. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, that's why we applied this wine and the Lego license uh, that uh, we didn't realize how much you have to go through. <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, uh, I'm here to uh, translate for my wife and also uh, answer your questions, and I will try to do my best. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think we'd probably be interested in your hours of operation. Uh, we close around 7 o'clock and 6 o'clock on Sunday. And, and what time do you open? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. And Sunday we uh, open 11 o'clock. 11 uh, basically, hours. except uh, Monday we're closing. Uh, almost the same hours as the hillside pizza right next door. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, uh, Wednesday we decided to open uh, one hour late because uh, uh, the yarn store uh, has uh, closed around 8, so we let it open until then. Okay. Okay. Were you looking to sell all types of beers and wines or just international products? Uh, all types. All types, yeah. okay. Um, one of the things that uh, I think is really important is tips training. I'm not sure if that's what they call it now. Mm -hmm. I mean, this I had gone to the, a seminar, I don't know, about 10 years ago, and it's how you um, shows you how to serve alcohol and 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 watch how how you you know um, people that come in how you card people the proper way to card people and in general it's how how do you best practices for managing alcohol and so I was wondering if your wife would be willing to take that course mm -hmm. yes Yes, uh, we're not uh, serving alcohol there, just uh, you mm -hmm. know, right. retail. Correct. Uh, and uh, uh, we're already talking to, and, uh, she said now is uh, taking course for food uh, mm -hmm. lessons. Oh, Great. safe serve, yes. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah, just, good. Just, just for the, uh, you know, to learn some extras about mm -hmm. the food. Yeah. Well, and there's. Also, um, in a, uh, how, do you, how do you say the safety, uh, OSHA? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we all be uh, set with this. Well, um, the tips training is similar to serve safe, and it just gives you best practices on how you manage food, and and the tips would be the alcohol part counterpart to your serve safe program. So it would be something that we would really encourage, and that we would mm -hmm. at least I I feel very strongly that I think anyone that handles alcohol in Deerfield should be trained to make sure that we are handling it properly. Sure. Uh, I don't know if this helps. She, she understands what you said. Mm -hmm. I don't have the every word here. Oh, okay. It's okay. a little bit harder to speak it out rather than... Understand. She's a U.S. citizen. She tested all the past, so she said... <laughs> <laughs> she understand more than I, yeah. I, uh, one of my questions would be is can she speak English so to ask people for identification for their age? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this we already talked with uh, some things that oh, are, no, how to look at the ID and uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. It, it is right. it is nerve wracking sometimes to think about yeah. being on T V, so don't worry. <laughs> Great. Right. Did you have any other questions? No, nope, I don't. I'm all set. Okay. And who would be the manager? His wife. Is you, you'll be the manager. You, you'll be the yeah. manager. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Um, we um, don't have enough licenses at this point, so we have to figure out what we're going to do, and um, we probably would not have a definitive plan for that until after town meeting. Um, we have on 
our town meeting warrant a request to um, have more licenses to, uh, be provided and we have to go through a process through um, the legislature to um, see if they will agree to expand the number of licenses that we are allowed to issue. So at this point, um, I guess, I don't want to say we'll get back to you, but well, yes, we'll, we'll take it under yeah. advisement. Yeah, we're going to take it under advisement, and we'll, Wendy will let you know what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, and the timeline involved so that you, you know, have an idea from a, your business plan point of view what you would do. We're, we're very supportive of um, what you're doing, and we want to be as helpful as possible. So this is a little bit of a hang-up. And so I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. So just to add to that, so when it's scheduled for their meeting, we'll let you know mm -hmm. so you can come. Yeah. And um, thank okay. you. Thank you. In the meantime, you. if you, you take the tips training or and you finish your serve safe um, certification, you can let let us know, um, and that you know is uh, bolsters your case for us to say yes. Okay. When, when do you expect to open the market? We uh, softly open today. Oh, oh, congratulations. Oh, well, congratulations. Wonderful. Yeah. When's your heart open? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we'll close the hearing. Do you want to? Do you want to do that or you want to do the warrant first? We can do the work on it. I, I think this is pretty slow, so we can start on that. Do we need a vote to close or no? Yeah, we yeah. need a okay. vote. Okay, make a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion? Nope. None. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, let's, let's go down to the budget. Wendy, is there anything on the budget you want to um, go over? Well, um, we can talk about the finance committee last night if you want to. We did a little bit. Um, you've already voted on all the budget items. Yes. I think the only change was um, how you distribute. We had, Brenda and I had recommended 500000 for capital stabilization, which you had voted on. I'm not sure the exact numbers you voted last night. 250 and 250. 250 and 250. Correct. Oh, okay. I didn't know. It's it was. still 500, but it was 250 to the regular stabilization. Okay. I thought it was 250 to yeah. capital. Right? Skip. Correct. Okay. Okay. Skip, you have to introduce yourself. Yes, Skip Olmstead, uh, Chairman of the Finance Committee, Deerfield Finance Committee. Yeah, I just wanted to stress that uh, the committee did essentially take, that was one vote, but to put $250,000 into the capital stabilization and 250000 into general stabilization. Uh, since the numbers are the same and they're both stabilization accounts, that doesn't change anything that we have to do necessarily, does it? The only thing that I would ask is that when you, and, and I, unless, unless town council decides that we need to do something different. We can do it as a motion. We can do it in the motion. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I just, well, it doesn't, do yeah. you think so? Well, keep talking. I'll look at it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so when you make the motion in, in a, it, I would really like to make sure article, it is stressed yeah. that it is too, uh, and we can we can either that or we can we can do, make the motion then we can divide the question yeah. if necessary. Can you explain <clears throat> just the rationale behind the two fifty and the two fifty versus just five hundred in capital what, versus five hundred in stabilization? Is there a what we would like? Or I guess, and I'll speak for myself, and you can ask. There were two other members of the finance committee and. Well, Certainly. we don't want to. Uh, oh, no, I think four is four. Your um, is a quorum. Yeah, because they have seven. Yep. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying yeah. if you want oh, okay. to ask so the other members of I the just finance committee, I know, but I didn't want to have an open meeting violation. I think what we'd like to do is, and we've talked about it, est establish an annual contribution uh, to the capital stabilization. And, and generally speaking, use the same amount each year, 250000 So if we actually put 500000 then I think the Finance Committee would say, you know, we put 500000 into it last year going forward. Next year, we wouldn't want to see any added to that. So next year, we would anticipate if we use 250000 that we put another 
250,000 into capital stabilization. And in fact, begin with the FY20 budget, withdrawing from capital stabilization to meet the capital mm -hmm. needs. So you're, so you're suggesting another year um, where the capital needs are funded separately from our stabilization? FY19. Okay. I, get, I missed that last night. Okay. I mean, that was kind of why we were so proposing, there is or why the select board was supporting the 500000 because I thought we were going to start taking out a um, stabilization next year. But if you're proposing another year yes. separate, yes. then that's okay. Yeah. Okay. I, is, so it wouldn't want, be until FY, I do understand. The yeah. FY20 budget yeah. Yeah. You're okay that we yeah. actually no, began I, I, I using the capital stabilization to fund the capital needs. projects. Yeah. Okay. And each year we would. Each year, and hopefully we can come up with, you know, with a number that, you know, I'm sure that it would make some sense. Uh, Wendy's talked about uh, putting a procedure together to fund and, and withdraw from the capital stabilization account. Right. Uh, okay. And that would get us on the plan to a better financial management yeah. plan that we're. Yeah. Really, I know you've talked about North Boroughs and. We've got to get a, a system going. Mm -hmm. where, well, that was the idea, right. was to have enough of a fund that you can, you are adding you to it as much as you can, but you are also using it in a, in a pre-programmed manner, right. like, like Northboro does. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, the, by having their policy for so long, it's very quite stable. And so mm -hmm. hopefully in three or four years, we'll be in the same position. Okay. That's it. All right. The well, new thanks. And the, sheet the view has on the, the planner position removed from it that you've got. Okay. Yeah. And the and the the view on the stabilization is just a rainy day fund kind of thing, or would you plan on putting two fifty again every year well, into that as well? Or a, there's there's differences of opinion. So, but yeah, I, I think it makes some sense. We've got if we look forward, and we don't have to look forward very long. Uh, we have some significant capital expenditures on right. the horizon. Yep. And uh, so if we can put some, something into stabilization so that when those expenditures arrive, there is at least some funds similar to what we did with the, the highway garage. Uh, well, four or five years ago, we had $2 million in, in the stabilization account. Okay. And to fund the garage, we took a million out of stabilization, yep. and we borrowed five million to help offset. So, yep. I would hope to build it up back up to two million because if we had a bad year, if the economy crashed like in two thousand eight, so we had our budget year two thousand ten, we had almost no excise tax mm -hmm. and people weren't buying cars. Yeah, yeah, I mean there was a huge hit on our income. Mm -hmm. Um, we would have enough money in stabilization to cover our operating budget, which we use a lot of free cash to cover right, right now. So the idea is to build a, I mean, I would support continuing to um, put as much as we can in the stabilization to get up over $2 million because we seem to need to a million you. plus in free cash just to keep our budget. We, yeah, and we, we might not at some point have that if something happens. You know, we right now we're using over a million dollars, and actually the money that we're putting into uh, capital stabilization, at least, uh, that's those are operating expenses. Those are operating revenues that we're going to use for operating expenses. Yeah. But the reason why it's important is then you're not being disruptive and laying people off. And, right. You need to. I mean, you can lay people off, the but then you're not. You're not really having a huge savings because you're paying unemployment and then mm -hmm. you get nailed in your experience rating for years down the line on that and I mean it's very disruptive yeah. and you've lost good employees and yeah. so the whole thing is to have a little bit of a buffer just in case something happened a bad year a bad okay. year so thank you thank you great thank you very much I'm ready to go all right okay go ahead I think it works um, this is the uh, clicker thing that I was telling you about voting. Oh. I'm going to give you all a 
quicker so you can all participate. Nice, thank you. And what you do is you'd instruct the audience. You can do it too from over there. I don't live in town. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this thing does you not going to live in town. Whether you like flowers or not. Okay. So the instruction to the audience is that you know if you want to vote yes, you press the green button. How do and I you turn want it to on? Press what no, if you're colorblind? you just, hit the red button. Well, you, if you can't read, you can go by the colors. <laughs> no, but you, I mean, how do you turn it on? How it's on. Oh, it's all, on already. All right. No. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to read the article, okay. and then I'm going to instruct you to vote. Okay. And when I instruct you to vote, you know, you push yes or no. Okay. Now, you see on the screen here, this little bar here tells how many people participate. Okay. And this is the timer. To make this quick, I set it at 10 seconds, so don't lallygag. If it was at town meeting, you could set it for 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or whatever you want. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the first article is, uh, do you like flowers? Wait a minute. But I want to hit it. Go ahead and vote. How many times do I got to hit it? No, nope, you don't have to hit it. I don't know, plug in. Should something come up? No, yeah. no, nothing okay. will come out there. It comes here. No, I mean, on the, I have a digital read on mine. Yeah, mine it, says It, it doesn't something. matter. It just, it, Letter it doesn't a. matter. I'm giving away. Oh, this Wi-Fi. Wi it, it went both ways. Now, if you want to go to the next article, you just... Wait, wait. Button. What yeah. was the vote? How, how, does it, how many, how many like people flowers. voted yes? Oh, it, it showed it was 50-50. Who voted no? I mean... You, I did. did you, the oh, the you whole did. point oh, is not no. to tell no, 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 people. Oh, you don't <laughs> tell how you voted. You, you don't, don't have to, but that's the whole thing. All right, next so question. The next question is, do you like, like horses? I wanted to know if it was a bogus count. What kind of Do you horse? like horses? Well, you know... It's, <laughs> well, well no, wait I'm a kidding. second. 50-50. Is that accurate? Did, well, we'll find out. It did, it, oh, I see. This okay, is I'm sorry. To show with. We, we're not going to do this. So it yeah, but I want to know if it's right. accurate. There's only four of us voting, and how can it be 50 50? Did anybody There's vote? There's four of you voting. Two voted yes, two voted no. Yes. And I didn't vote no. I didn't vote no. Did yeah. you vote no? No. Yeah. Well, there's three of us voting yes. Well, anyways, we're not going right, to do All right, go ahead. Okay. So next one, oh, so the next one is do you like. What's the question? Do you like horses? Oh, that's so hard. All right. It didn't pick up. It didn't read, read yours. How do you know it was me? Because I'm watching it. Okay, I abstained. Okay. Okay. Everybody liked horses. I like them, but I'm and, afraid of them, so I abstain. So that. <laughs> so it showed three. So to operate the thing, to operate all you, all anybody who's doing this would just hit the next thing, and it would go to the next question. Okay. And each car. So so how did how did it take in Wendy's abstain? It, it just said three. It, it doesn't. doesn't. So how do it you don't, know it's, it's yes or no. So it only takes the yes or no. You can put an abstain button. You can, but we best put it yes or no. Oh, you just okay. didn't for this one. Right. Okay. So now let's say we get to a question about like cars. Okay. Do you like cars? And somebody says, well, I want to amend that. And I want it to be just blue cars because it's going to be a police yeah. cruiser. So okay. what you would, so whoever's running this would hit the escape button and they would go back. And they could, this is a PowerPoint, so they would just open up another tab, and if the amendment was to add the word red, you have to vote on red first to add that to car. They would just type that in, close it back to the other screen, and you'd vote on the red. Then you'd go back to this switch. But all they have to do is hit these two buttons in the escape and type in whatever you want. And that's as simple as it is. Who would so would actually our run this? Who do Anybody. You? I mean, what? I can't type to save my soul, but... <laughs> So we would have to find someone to do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. as far as, sorry. I'll go ahead. <laughs> might as well speak. Can on. we hear from the audience? Yeah. Certainly. Michelle Camosa, I just wanted to add that. Um, I literally was, um, he brought this home and he said, crash course, do it. Figure it out. And I'm familiar with PowerPoint. Yeah. And honestly, we had a little bit of help from a tech assistant on the phone. I've never seen anything so user friendly in my life. Uh, truly, a, a second grader could run the program. The only thing that we needed to learn that I didn't have enough time is how to actually take the language, the narrative part of a warrant article and put it on the slide. That's why we have those goofy That's, little questions. Right. Do you like a horse? Do you like a truck? Whatever. But yeah, so you would, and if you have warrant articles that are already drafted, you could copy them into the copy and paste right into right. there. Um, I and then they could be amended on the floor from there. It yeah. is pretty easy. So essentially, as Kip had said, it's, it's nothing more than having the language of the article 
and setting your timer for how many seconds you want to give your audience audience to vote. Right. You hit the space bar, that starts the timer running down. Mm -hmm. Audience, yes or no. If you want to have an abstention button, there is a yellow button, I yes. believe, yeah. for yeah. abstention. And you can add three you know, responses there. The yeah. other um, thing, for curiosity's sake, is that you have um, the results are in percentages, like 75. Mm -hmm you know, 25, but you can actually click on another tab and it would give you a number. So you'd of know that 125 voted? voters yes. voted this way and so many voted this way and so many have abstained. Right. And that's, that's, that's really the it whole in thing. in a nutshell. Yep. But and right. one of the things that does, if, if you can type quickly, uh, you, like I said, while the people are talking about it, somebody can actually type the amendment right there and then go back into the screen and it would show up on the screen. You could see it and then you could, the moderator could ask to vote again, he'd hit it. And probably the town meetings that I watched, they had it set for 30 seconds. So it seemed like a long time. Right, but, but it yeah. gives people enough time to decide. Yeah. Um, That's it. So how long do these batteries last? Well, like you clicker in a remote, they would probably last a year or two, depending on how much you use okay. them. Yeah. So if we only use them once a year, would we have to retain the... I asked the company about it, and they, their thing is they say they last for years, but, you know, they can't guarantee. It's just the little right, thing. Just the they ask people, because they want feedback, and say, you know, do you have to... The batteries, are the little coin ones you can buy through them at a cost of 22 cents a piece if you want. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's Quick it. question? Sure. Once you vote on a question... It does not allow you to vote a second time until you reset to the next question? No. It, well, as long as that timer is going, you can vote yes and vote no, vote yes and vote no. It will only count one answer. Now, okay. if you're going back and forth like that, when that clock hits zero, it's only going to count the last one that it registered. Okay. But as long as, if, as, long as you, didn't play, if you played, didn't play with it and just hit yes or then go, oh, okay, no. So it's only going to register one answer. One answer per In that 30 second yeah, and I, matter what you do. I, right. I tried all of them. I tried just sitting there, hitting it, hitting it, and it wouldn't change. So I grab another one and I hit it and then the number would change to two. And I hit, grab another one so and change it. So basically it's foolproof. So it, it, it pretty be is. Yeah. Right. And, and, you get two of them. <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing about it too is that there was, there was a community. Um, in the North Shore where somebody did have a device, a second device, but they have people what? They just happen to have somebody and they prosecute the guy for voter fraud, wow. you know. Wow. Um, so, I, I mean, yeah. but it's no different. I mean, I've been at town meeting That's too and I, people are pretty, truck or something, but no, but if people are pretty adamant about something, I've seen people do this, yeah, you know, I was so, say, uh, I, yeah. you know, and if you're up there looking through the heads and stuff, you, mi beforehand. you might not. But anyways, you know, I, I, I spoke to Dan about it, and I understand yeah. it. So it, it, I'm not going to push this thing. I just wanted you to see it because I got it through. I like it. And well, it, it doesn't it look is, bad. It's I mean, very it simple like, to run. I was just so. going to say, it looks like it's simple. Yeah. yeah. Once the thing is up, if, if you had no amendments, it's as simple as somebody just sits and sits and hits that button to the next question. When you're done, you start it, then you go to the next question. It's one button to the whole thing. And so we kind of yeah. discussed how many questions you'd want. On it. I mean, I guess you could do each one, or you could, if you wanted a private one, you could do, like, people want a private ballot. You would oh, do it for, you lost would, you, would you need to use this for every question? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, you, you'd put the entire um, warrant on this, and you'd come to Article 1, and it would be up there, and you could, as a moderator who reads it, the audience could read it, and then when he calls for vote, he'd say, vote now. And you'd hit the button, or whoever's hit the button, then you got 30 seconds to vote. Mm. Okay. And you, I mean, it would still be run the same. I mean, you know, there'd be discussion, and people could raise their hand and talk about it and stuff like that. It's only when he calls for the vote that this would come into play. But also the part that, uh, you know, like Michelle said, you can have a graph so it shows a percentage, or you can have numbers, and you can right. have both. So, but that's that. So, I mean, I, my my view on this was that we were going to kind of maybe get a committee together and discuss this and move I, forward, or well, decide I think Dan was. Gonna this, I mean, I thought there was ideas to do this and and maybe yeah. other ways well, that we can get people, you know, to come to town meeting as well. Yep, I I, I would love to. That, you know, I, that. I, I was I his recommendation, people. and I think we yeah. can do that, move it forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, through a. A motion on the town meeting I mean, floor. I have no problem okay. with doing that. I just don't 
I don't see a, a committee is going to get together. I mean, all they're going to do is decide whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. Because, I mean, to do this, it's... I, I agree with that, but I, I was thinking that we, we would do, you know, decide this and, and talk about other ways to get more participation in town meeting other than just this. So oh, I, okay. I think it's a, you know, it seems good, and, and I, I read a lot of the re replies back that Barbara got from the other communities. And, yeah. um, I just like to get more I, discussion. I think that the best way to move this forward is to form the committee and okay. do figure out a plan for implementation, uh, cost, um, demonstration, yeah. testing, all of those kinds of things so that you can ramp it right up if that's the direction that the town just chooses to go. So yeah. okay. cover all those bases. Thank you so. for taking the time to do that. Yeah, thank you for doing the work. Like, I could, you know. Whatever steps that we could take to move that forward. That's what I said. I think, um, really well, we're talking get, about yeah, a motion Dan on the town floor. Is Dan's that the idea? Opinion. Did you have Dan's letter? Yeah. Yeah, Dan, Dan had a step by step. Dan is the town moderator. Thank you. For those who don't know. Uh, and he had a he had a um, three steps that we so went through. Does that have a, oh, it has the, this is the thing that's Give them inside. back yeah. now. Yeah. All this stuff. No pocket We don't want you bringing it. So that's just like a USB stick. Having two yep. next oh, yeah. And all it does is counts those. Okay. So that's, we there's no software. We probably have to have extra people to check in. Cool. To check and check back. Um, Should we get back, all that's these? another thing to look at. Yeah. yeah, I actually have in my mind who would be the right person to manage that. Okay. In terms of a staff and, uh, a, you know. Diane could do that. Well, uh, next year I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, someone who's familiar with uh, town meeting and very savvy and doesn't live in town. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so you see, the problem is the others. Everyone of us is and the clerk and the moderator are attending to the, you know, know. the hard hard somebody. copy of the meeting. So right. it would be good to have someone who doesn't vote, right? And also could and I have an idea about that. Great. Okay. <clears throat> so Sounds um, good. Then the next thing on the um, Let's go is the warrant. Okay. You need to move um, to approve and sign the warrant. Well, you need to re review it first. Yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let me go I, through I will this. I point out. Um, um, is this, um, you've seen it for? Yep. I just want to read it for a minute, yep. if I can. Well, um, there's a new edition. Um, you, oh, I forgot that you had said that. This is, there's a, another warrant article that Wendy um, yeah. added from the last draft. Okay. It's on the back. Um, oh, I can give you the background on it. It's the one having to do with the um, she just pilot agreement. Today. Just today, this is the 2 o'clock, John Coderre and I met with a uh, company that's planning a solar installation on, it hasn't, the deal hasn't been sealed yet, but on um, land um, owned by Pan Am. The, I guess they do these installations on a lot of railroad properties. And they think they can... Uh, get a um, all of this together in, in short order. So this is an article, and I reviewed it with Lisa. Um, I just put it on at 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm sorry, what number was that? It's, 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 one, it's almost 29. the last. 29? Um, it's right before the last. Mrs. Mass, RE12, so LLC. Law, under, I'm sorry, these are the minutes. I'm looking, under um, statutes. Town meeting must give approval For to tiff. whoever, you know, the chief elected officials or and or the assessors and or the town administrator. And for this, we have both the select board and the assessors to um, enter into negotiations and um, negotiate. It used to be you had to do those separately. They're now under municipal modernization. You can do that in one fell swoop, a pilot agreement. Um, so that's the new article. What happens when the railroad gets behind in taxes? When what? When the railroad gets behind in taxes. Um, they're leasing. They would be leasing the land from. I think it's railroad. separate. They still Who's, they still own. It's personal property taxes that who, they're paying. Yeah. Who so is, it's a separate issue, unless 
you have a different thought on this. I don't know. Who is Mass RE12 LLC? That's their company. That's whose company? Yes. These proponents of the solar installation that we, the town would, <coughs> you know, this is authorizing. This is not making it happen. No, I know. I'm just yeah. curious who, who it is and what, what, it's, what it's about is all. I, first I've ever heard of it, so. Me too. <laughs> no, they wrote me a while back saying they're interested in a pilot, so I've talked to Lisa, I've talked to John, and finally they were out here today, so we met with them, and this is the proposal, so. And, and we did that with the other one on River Road? Yes. I remember the conversation. I just don't remember it being an article. You needed to, it, you had the article to approve it. Yep. Um, but it, I think the article to go forward was two or three years ago. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember John working on. This doesn't make it about? happen. You, you, right. you, you negotiate. This just allows you to be able to negotiate. Okay. And you're in on the action, so if you don't like it, you can negotiate. Okay. All right. Um, so we did talk, if you want to read it. Do you want to continue to read it? I do. Okay. Can I? I think you should. This is getting, unless you, you know, forever hold your peace, it's going to be posted on, on Friday. Has to be. I, um, I went over this on the computer. The problem is with the computer, it's not as, it's easier to skip over than it is on paper. I mean, is there a a reason that the the prohibition article couldn't come after the bylaw article? Um, I'm trying to think the reasoning behind putting it this way. Um, I think it was recommended by council. If you think what would happen if you voted prohibition, then you could skip over the whole other one. Um, no, I, no you're going to skip over the whole other one. I don't, yeah. I, but the, it's the zoning bylaws, to me, that's the most important right. that we get, we get in place. And if there's going to be any confusion about it, I'd rather it be confusion about the prohibition. Um, I mean, because that, that discussion can go on, but I, I don't want people to be frustrated with the thing and... and, and not pass the bylaws, regardless of what happens. I mean, the bylaws, I, I feel, are very important to be in place to protect, mm -hmm. you know, the community. You know, instead of people just popping in anywhere. Yeah, because uh, otherwise we have no protection. Right. I mean, that was why I felt it was so important to move ahead. But I'm thinking about it. Anybody else want to enter into that? But I believe this is what <laughs> Adam Costa, rec Attorney Costa, recommended. I, you know, I just, I still am unclear as to why it's on there to begin with. But because the planning board I um, understand recommended that. It, that it be on there. We but have to put what they send to us on the warrant. Couldn't be a, um, I understand Kip's point. I mean, can it be further down on the, does it have to be right there in front of, the other one? Um, well, you'd want them together, but whether you have them, whatever order you have them I in. I agree with Kip. It's more important the other, you know, to get mm -hmm. the bylaws in place. Um, that's the I whole, can whole change point. it, and you can stay until I get that done and sign I, it. Well, I think, I guess where, where my thought is that, is that, <laughs> is that, <laughs> there's going to be discussion about this, and I, I don't want people to be discouraged. Yeah. You can skip why? over it. I mean, if that's an option, we can talk to the moderator and simply ask that well, it be. Well, why not? It, it, if there's not a reason, and, and I just, I really don't know. If there's not a particular reason, the whole thing. just changing the numbers, you know, leave everything and just, or, or just switch them around. Have um, the bylaws be 26 and the, the prohibition be 29 or 28. Yeah. It's 27 and 27. 28, yeah. two different zoning articles. Um, right. The 27, but that doesn't matter. The location of it, that could still stay 27. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, then you'd put 28 before 27 and 26 after 20. Either put it in right. front of or behind. Yeah. Right. Total. Well, again, put I think behind. we can ask. You, we can wait, and I'll go monkey around and reformat it, or you can actually just do it by 
um, doing that well, through the we, moderator. Can we suggest that, that we vote that and we just sign the back page? Because then you can change, you can change the yes. numbers. Yes. We, we don't have to. We can, yes, if you'd like that. They're all in there. It's yes. just a matter of what order. And we, just, we just sign the back page. So, so, and then tomorrow you can, I mean, because you're not posting them tonight. No, but they so have you, to be posted Friday. Right. right. But you would have yes. tomorrow yep. to Yes, you can do that, and I can make note of that to switch it. Yeah, just remember. Um, Unless Lisa China, doesn't agree. Well, I'm just trying to think of what, you know, the rationale is. Um, who gets to read all of 28? <laughs> uh, you don't. Now you can say as printed. Okay. Wow. That's why you hand out the yep. copy. Unless you're in certain towns where the moderators like to hear themselves and they read the, everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Dan wants to, let him go yeah, for he's it. Not, he like no, he's not like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I have pages here. I have what I was going to have you sign here, so... But I can make note. If um, would you like me to check with council if there's some other reason? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I don't want to cause problems. I just well, I will. I'll do that. It just to you well, know. yeah. If you could, because then that makes sense. And we need to explain to people that by doing nothing, we we open ourselves totally to anywhere and to any number. I don't. I don't know if. Uh, Usually, when the planning board proposes bylaws, that the uh, they read chair they read will, will speak to it. Correct. I, I don't. I don't know that John Waite will speak to um, the prohibition part of it. Um, he, could, he could ask someone else to do. He that. might, and if he doesn't, I, I'd be um, happy to to do that, to mm -hmm. explain to the people how the planning board went. Because a lot of people still ask me about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I can be real, I, I've studied, I've, I've said it so many times, I think I've got it down pat, so I can make it real short. Right. And mm -hmm. just, you know, they voted this to put it forward to tell me, but the majority didn't vote to us for it. As long, as, long as you identify that you're speaking on behalf of the planning, planning board. board. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So they also um, did not recommend, because it was a tie, the zoning. So they would not, right. um, I'm not sure who would read it. We'd figure that out. But perhaps well, the it's select. A, it's the same thing. Or they, make the motion. Well, and so could you then make the statement that exactly. if we don't pass this. Well, I'm, then, gonna, I'm definitely going to speak to it, because I, I believe that it's very important that we get these bylaws passed. And that the two votes that the planning board take, the first vote was to move the bylaw forward to the warrant. So that's why it's there. The planning board didn't vote to support it, but that's just the planning board. You know. Okay. Because I, I, I think it's not clear to people that... It is, well, it is very... no action is, right. is really the wrong decision. And, mm -hmm. and I think... Decision. I, I think even the people who voted against it, they, they understand the importance of getting the bylaws in place. Because without the bylaws in place, it would have no control. Right. And, and that would be bad. So, yeah. It would be terrible. Okay. All right. I, I'll just check with council if there's like a huge reason why yeah, I'll then just forget call fine. you. But no, yep. I no, I'll check in with you before I do anything. But so um, Otherwise, we'll move it. Yeah. Let's, let's move okay. this on the warrant then. Do you, you want to go through to more on Hang on here, one sec. Or? Okay. Have, just, you, have um, you already gone through? No, okay. not quite. Uh, I've, read, I've read most of all of these things. Anyways. Yeah, the only other change was we've added, you know, more protective language in the um, article about the requesting legislation for additional liquor licenses yeah. to make sure that we have the ability I, I to make those little changes oh, oh, or okay, number or whatever. So um, I'm assuming that Lisa vetted that article because that's pretty wordy. She wrote it and she yeah. made the change, yep. Okay. And we talked about being able to, you know, have the ability to change the, lic the um, legislation before yeah. submitting it, if you submit it. Okay. I, I, I read it, but I... I it's actually it? one of the shorter warrants there's been. The comment is it was above my pay scale, so... I'm we'll have to raise the select board salary. Okay. <laughs> Two seconds. Oh, no, Two yeah, seconds. Okay. I think I he's doing sure the right thing here. No, that's okay. Don't rush. Don't rush. It's fine. 
So I just need, um, when you get to it, two, two signed pages. Barbara just needs two signed originals, and then she can copy and get the others posted. Okay. This laptop belongs to the planning board, select board. It goes I got it from Brenda, so I'll just leave it in your office. Um, yep. Okay. Oh, you know what? You should have used that. Okay. You need to exercise that. Well, this is the one we're going to use at town meeting, so that was yeah. the point of using it. We needed to have a PowerPoint oh, thing through yeah. office, and I didn't I know, know if it, and Brenda said this one did, so. Yeah. No, that's Knowing okay. to me, that's, yes. uh, I'm not. No, that's okay. I, don't like I those just the uh, Trevor what uses it once in a while. What's that? that the tough one? book. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. okay. We just need to exercise it once. To in me, a while. those right. things are kind of like a live wire. If you don't know what you're doing, you have to screw up a lot of stuff. <laughs> so make a motion to accept the warrant um, for a town meeting in 2018. Is there any further discussion? No. No. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. To approve and sign. Um, <laughs> to approve and sign. So, Wendy, did you have any um, anything else you wanted to talk about in your administrator's report? No, I think I, the permitting, the closings, the host agreement, piggery, that, that's, and then commentary on the evening's okay. agenda. So. Right. Oh, I guess the only other thing is what you want to do at the your meeting. Oh, shoot, I have. Um, I did black. Pre-town meeting. Carolyn, you had some idea about that. Yeah, um, I just well, well, finance committee members are here. Um, we wanted to propose um, explaining some of the budget is is really hard to f to follow when you know we're talking about it, and so I wanted to have a couple of visuals like pie chart visuals and um, where our money goes. Um, and school spending. School spending. What 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 the trend trending is? How much free cash we use? You know, and explain free cash. It's not really free cash. It's <laughs> money that is left over that we roll over from the year before. It's it's receipts that we get extra um, because our calculations are based on the five year rolling average. Um, you know, we're very conservative, so it it is. It's meant to generate some free cash, and why why it you know floats up and down sometimes, and how much we're using, how how we're using more and more every year. Um, I don't want to get into um, the school foundation budget yet because we don't have any new information other than we were thinking of limping along probably three to five years, but it could potentially be next year that we're in huge problems. So um, based on that meeting uh, that um, Skip, Trevor, and I went to. So, um, but we don't have particulars yet, so I don't want to panic people. Um, Are you talking about the next week or the 25th? 25th. 25th. I, I wasn't going to have a huge amount of time. Is that okay, Jeff? And I would say, you know, visuals always help people understand things better, I think. So yeah. it, instead of just throwing numbers out and hoping they stick, if you have like a, a small PowerPoint presentation, I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd delve in too deep with it because then it starts to get confusing. But I, I think a general oversight with, with, as you were saying, with those pie charts, I yeah. think people will be able to visualize. Well, people can better. see how much of the percentage is school. Correct. Then how much is how much is just in benefits? You know, because our health insurance has been mm -hmm. growing, mm -hmm. um, and that you know why we're concerned because you know it's labor all the, all our activity service and uh, that we're doing in the town is is really labor intensive. So now is this. Are you planning on doing this for the pre-meeting before the 
annual town meeting? This will be the 25th as part of our select board meeting. Yeah. Okay. Because Brenda and I were trying to not make it too complicated. Right. You know, because I, I we just talked so a little just, bit. It'll just be part of it. Yeah. Three, like three to seven. Right. Three, seven three. o'clock. We, we will meet at six to do whatever business. I don't right. actually have that much business. So like three, three fact, to four pie business. charts mm -hmm. we were thinking of that we could think of off the top of our heads. Right. And, and, and then we'd have them available. The public. <laughs> right. And we'd have them available for town meeting. I mean, we'd keep them right. for town meeting. But... Seems it would, to make sense to me. And, and we talk <clears> about <throat> uh, what the capital plan, you mm -hmm. know, that we do have. We tried to make mm -hmm. it a little bit more formal and, and, and give people an idea of what we have so far. Obviously, we don't have frontier stuff, but, you know, people yeah. can see that that's not there. Right. And so this is what we anticipate spending. This is, I know we don't have the priorities of our capital um, projects yet, but right. we can, no, in vaguely, we right can talk now, about them. But, but Brenda does have the, you know, the capital right. plan as is. Right. Yeah. So it's and it's and that's enough. Once again, that people can right. look. I at. mean that that's challenging enough without all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was just to give people an idea. I, I hate to have us just go into town meeting and make it and not have a little bit of more demonstration for people mm -hmm. of what everybody's been working an on. Opportunity. Yeah. Uh, and then they can ask questions if they don't there's still another week, you know, a few days they could call and make sure we clarified if people had questions. We could say you can call and you know, we'll try to answer your questions. That kind of thing. That's why you also need to keep it brief because uh, right. as, as Jeff said, too much information Right. It's not that too much information is dangerous, but when you're constrained with uh, time constraints, uh, you don't want to open up way too much. Right. Well, so that's really need just to don't get want to overload people. Yeah. Right. You got to get the facts out. Well, that's why I was thinking. Facts without creating too much. Uh, that's why I was thinking pressure. three to four pie chart kind of things or demonstrative visuals, I think and fifteen or twenty minutes. Trending. Yep. And uh, and maybe. fifteen or twenty minutes of discussion. Maybe. And then just say, if you have questions, get them to Wendy. We'll try to answer questions between now and town meeting so that people will have the opportunity um, to digest some of it before town meeting and not feel like, you know, it's a done deal. I, I, I feel like that's why people don't go to town meeting is because they think it's a done deal. Or I think, I think that's part of it. Yeah. yeah. So they need to understand what we're still open to questions and... But it's our like our best guess kind of thing. At this was just prior to seven o'clock. Well, I was going to suggest you meet it. You've been your meetings have been at six. Why don't we? Um, I don't have anything on that agenda at this point. This is the twenty fifth. Yes. Okay. So, so we can make we this at six thirty. I was just going to say make it six thirty. The meeting will still start at six. Yeah, yeah. our meeting starts to at six. To cover any business you might have. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is what six thirty to seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Yes. I was thinking 15 or 20 minutes because people's eyes glaze over sometimes too. But we could answer questions. It depends on who, who, who shows up. Mm -hmm. If people come and show up and they have questions and it goes, you know, half an hour or so, I, I certainly wouldn't want to cut anyone no. off. I'm happy to explain. Now before the 25th. 25th. The 25th. Where your meeting starting at 6. Yeah. Our meeting starts at 6 and then it'll be 6.30 to whenever. If there's right. no questions or nobody shows up, then we'll just do our little... 15 or 20 minute show and then mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to work with Brenda on it. Okay. And, and you know. What am I, chopped I'm liver? Hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm, no, no, no. But I meant, I'm hoping that you too will Yeah, I, I'd yeah. really like to do what I think would be useful for town meeting members is sort of explanation of terms. Revenue terms. Um, expense terms. Mm -hmm. Uh, funds, but not in exhaustive detail. But right, the, but the main ones, glossary. I move we do this, we take this money from free, ca free cash, right. stabilization, just some, you know, add that to the mix. That's, right. Those That's are the kinds of idea. things people go, even people have been doing it yeah. for years. I'm not really sure. I, I, that and and I think that's really good because, I mean, one the of the things that we always talk about is free cash. Well, it's not free and you need to have some explanation of that. So that's, that's, a, good that's, idea. that's a really good yeah, idea. Yeah, and, you know, you, you don't want to do a mini finance committee training with levy limits and all of that no. that it does get more complicated it is a useful thing for people to know 
Well, but, I mean, um, there's it, municipal accounting is different than regular accounting, and I think that's where people get confused. Do you have anything on the agenda oh. for the 18th? I own, the only thing I had actually was to talk about this, I'll call it the FOG project. <laughs> the FOG? Yeah, the yep. high strength. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but that's it. All so right. we could put that off, but I know, I believe it wants to get going on mm -hmm. that, so I don't know what to say. Okay. When well, it comes can we to finance committee, I, I can explain it all to people. I'll just say it's, it's too much money. <laughs> It'll work. Maybe that's why I want to do pie charts. Um, <laughs> it's too much money. I don't care how you look so, at it. It's too much money. So yeah, I did want to discuss when when you want to meet and when you might want to go to an every other. I know it was two months ago you wanted to go to every other week schedule, but um, well, you know why when don't you we want wait to until meet? after the town meeting. I mean, we're we're doing it every week now till then anyway. So yeah. well, well, we, um, we do you want to meet on the 18th? Months. Do you want to meet next week? We Oh, yeah, that's right. We have an we executive board meeting on the 18th. But we have a select board executive board meeting. So at the uh, you know, Franklin County e-board. E-board meeting? Trevor and I have. I'm oh, you're tre both on Well, I'm a treasurer. <laughs> Although okay. they haven't given me the checkbook yet. Okay, so you want to not have a meeting next week. I don't really have. I can't do it myself, so. You can't do it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought you meant you had some plan on the 18th. I mean, I could do it myself. <laughs> you guys would not like okay, it. Okay, so <laughs> no meeting next week. And so well, the next meeting will be the 25th. We'll start at 6, yeah. and we'll do the 6.30 to and whatever. Unless something urgent comes I, up. And you've yeah. Got, but I, yeah, I mean, we, we can make that decision like that. on Monday. Yeah. I think the e-board is at 6, so yeah. if you wanted to make a meeting on Monday, we could do it, you know, like 5 or something. For a couple minutes, whatever. If you had anything urgent. I if don't. there was anything urgent, yeah. There often is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, let us know then. All right. Make I'll a motion to adjourn. I'll second the motion. Oh wait, uh, sorry. Too Before late. we do that, nope. <laughs> public. We haven't we haven't voted Actually, yet. Actually, oh, I understand. Any public it comment? Be yeah, we haven't. Uh, we'll take some public oh, comment. What? Yeah, oh. public motion comment. To dissolve? No, it's no. a motion to adjourn, isn't it? Apparently, it's dissolved. I don't want to dissolve. We'll talk later. I know. <laughs> I, mean, just, public I, just comment. One, I just had one quick question. Can, can you, just so I don't get yelled at. I get yelled at. <laughs> Bruce, you have to do that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I get yelled yes. at, too. Okay. In a nice way, but I remind you. Bruce St. Peter's. Thank you. Uh, I just had one question to clarify. That uh, percentage of uh, off-premise liquor license related to the marijuana, is that 20% set by the state yes. or is that by bylaw? It's cannabis law? regulations. That is by state yes. regulations. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that's why I w wanted to be very careful. But when we talked, Trevor and I state. spoke to the commissioner, the cannabis commission commissioner, she said that you, if you had 1.4, which works out to be 1.4, you have one. So to say that they round up is... is can look into that also. If yeah, you I mean, I, oh. I think that's. I mean, I, I mean, did. I, I still don't. I, I mean, the space to put one is so small. Who, like, how many businesses are going to? Well, it doesn't matter. I thought we only. Had I just to can't have see one. that many. So, I, I just clarifying that because yeah, I, you know, as far as we know, it's state. Because I keep hearing this twenty percent. I hadn't heard that it was no, a part part state the, regulation. There might yes. be someone else from the public who's here who could answer that question. I don't no. know. Is there anybody else from the public yet who wants to answer that question? Yes, no. Okay. No? okay. Um, and that was it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was easy. You sure? <laughs> the open They're floor. interpreting them as we speak. I get deal. I get Department of Revenue alerts. The governor's even this, that, and they're stuff. not in agreement on something. Right. So. And the governor's correcting oh, stuff. Oh, for, so. for instance, the revolving fund issue mm -hmm. with the host agreement. Um, we. They, the current is it does not go into revolving fund. It, it would be in go into fund. the general fund. Yep. So we just make the motion accordingly. Okay. Fine. I guess a motion to dissolve. <laughs> ah. I'll second. second the motion. <laughs> second? Okay. It's All new right. for me. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Have a nice Thank evening, everyone. Thank you all everyone. for coming.